Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dan here. Uh, main focus of today's video is I'm gonna is gonna be the Fox Body. I want to talk about uh, why I chose to go with a carburetor setup as opposed to fuel injection. Um, I got three reasons basically why, uh, but really quick, I got the windows tinted on the Win LE, so I wanted to show that real quick. All right, so I just got them tinted. Got finished about an hour ago, and I think it looks pretty badass. I'll do another video of this thing soon. But for now, just wanted to show that. My majority of this video is going to take place um, in and around my 1986 Mustang. Um, just because this is my project car, but it doesn't. This isn't just Mustang specific. But yeah, I just want to put that out there. I know that I've seen the uh, the YouTube warriors that are, you know, Ford this, Chevy that. Obviously, as you can tell, I have a Mustang, and then I also have a Camaro. So uh, I don't give a shit. Um, but yeah. This one's going to be focused here on the Mustang, but translates to any car. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Nissan, whatever. I don't care. Um, I'm a car guy. I like them all. So, um, yeah, let's get going, guys. All right, guys, so one thing that kind of sucks about having an old car, uh, especially from the 80s, because I think uh, the uh, domestic car makers were kind of just in a rough spot back then. Um, so I went to pop the hood and the uh, hood latch plastic thing just broke right off so uh, looks like this will be my uh, hood latch release from now on so for those who don't know the setup I'll just go over it again really quick all right this was a four-cylinder uh, Mustang coupe I converted it I, the reason I bought the four-cylinder was because I wanted a non-twisted body and then I wanted to convert it to a 5.0 or V8 of some sort I went with the blueprint engines 347 crate motor which is an amazing option if anyone wants any more info on the engine itself hit me up I have nothing but good things to say about this engine combination setup so it's a 347 stroker but why I went with a Holley carburetor or a carbureted setup as opposed to fuel injection all right, okay. So the first reason was basically just initial cost to get the car running. So as I said, it was a four cylinder. Um, to do a fuel injection setup, it just seemed like I would have needed a lot more to actually get the car going um, as far as fuel pump change. And, and these things, they aren't really a big deal, but it's just for me, the kind of how, how quickly I wanted to finish the car, how much money I wanted to allot to the car. And so, you know, and I, and I researched a little bit between, you know, performance gains with a fuel injection as opposed to a carburetor which fuel injection is is going to be better uh, as far as fuel mileage obviously i'm not worried about fuel mileage with this thing also i didn't have a spare motor or you know junkyard motor or something to go off of i wanted to get as much new parts as i could have so that you know i was looking into you know new or newer intake manifold fuel injectors uh throttle body mass airflow meter, you know, anything and everything that came with it. I was looking for either new or relatively new. This this crate motor came with the carburetor set up on it. It's a Holley four barrel, 600 CFM. Uh, as far as cost, it probably was $1,500 cheaper, the route that I would want it to go with it, just to do a carburetor setup. Um, and that, that was the things I talked about, fuel injectors, intake manifold. Obviously, I wasn't gonna get a stock manifold. Um, fuel injectors, mass air meter, throttle body, all, you know, fuel pump, all the other things that come with it. Second reason I went with a carburetor is the ease of install. As I touched on a little bit, I really just needed to change up a few things. Oh. A throttle cable, the AED throttle bracket, fuel lines, fuel filter, you know, and uh, in the fuel tank, I removed the pump, put in a uh, steel tube with a fuel line, or uh, excuse me, fuel hose and then a strainer on the end of that. So, the f and then the fuel pump is up here. And then I had to kind of modify the the um, gas pedal a little bit, but it was honestly just kind of bending bending the pedal to get it so I can get full travel out of the, uh, out of the um, throttle, you know, linkage. Um, so that was pretty much it. All right, and lastly, the third reason why I went with a carb setup over fuel injection is honestly just, my mechanical experience level. Um, I'm not a master mechanic by any means. Uh, I've tinkered with cars, engines my entire life, diesel engines, gas engines. I mean, I've messed with everything as far as cars are concerned, but I'm, no, I'm definitely no expert. For me, as far as my mechanical skill level, I felt a carburetor setup 
was um, better for me, which is why I went with that. And I'm not afraid to admit it. I mean, I'm no expert. I, you know, I can turn wrenches. I can Google some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I can put stuff together that works. Obviously, I mean, I've driven the car probably 2,000 miles already, with the occasional bolt bolt coming loose where I have to put some thread locker back on it and run it back in. Like this thing, knock on wood, is running amazing. So. Um, yeah, I mean, that that's really, and, and honestly, number three was probably my biggest factor um, over cost and even over um, the ease of the install, which I guess ease of install and, and experience level kind of go hand in hand. I really, you know, at first I just wanted to get it on the road. I wanted to do it myself. And I wanted to have just a, you know, fun, reliable, cruising, semi-fast car that I did just by myself. And, uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, for this on why I went carbureted over fuel injected. If you guys have any questions, if you want to hear something more specific, if you want me to answer something more specific, I enjoy reading the comments. Um, well, all right guys, that's gonna do it. That's gonna be it for this one. We'll catch you next time. Take care, have a good one.